And I'm very pleased and proud at this time to be joined by former St. John Sea Dogs defenseman Kevin Gagne. Gags, you were back here for Alumni Weekend uh, back earlier in August. Uh, tell me about the experience for you. Yeah, obviously it was a lot of fun seeing all the guys and uh, coming back to a place where uh, we had a lot of good times and a lot of success. So it was fun to just see everybody and uh, obviously we, we had a pretty good time. <laughs> Was it an easy decision for you to make to come back here and, and hang out with some old friends again? Yeah, obviously when it comes out, uh, mark that weekend off as, as soon as I can. And uh, I always have uh, always come back here pretty much every summer. So especially when there's an, uh, an event like that, especially make uh, special arrangements to make it. There aren't many alumni that spent more time with the St. John Sea Dogs than you. Four and a half seasons in a Sea Dog uniform. Quite a time for you in your life. Yeah, obviously it was uh, it was a fun time. I was just came in. I was only 16, so I had a lot of growing up to do and stuff, and uh, learned a lot from uh, the organization and, and had a lot of fun. And obviously, with uh, with the success we had, obviously makes it uh, a little better. Obviously, you came in at such a key time as well, uh, with the team having just made its first ever playoff run, and and uh, two seasons later, you were in the President Cup final. Mm -hmm. Must have been just a whirlwind. Yeah, it was. Obviously, you, you come in the league, you you see those teams that have success and you hope one day to, to get the chance to, to experience it. And uh, with the team we had to have uh, three years to go to the President's Cup final, that was that was a little bit crazy because the first year you think, well, we got to win this year because maybe you'll never get the chance to, to come back and to go back two more years and win it. Uh, it was pretty special. Think of that Memorial Cup team for a moment, if you could. When did you feel like the team was something special, that it really had something that, that uh, you know, that maybe could see it hoisting the big trophy at the end of the year? I think right off the bat, right out of training camp, we came in, we had uh, a little bit of a, how could I say it, a, a bad taste in our mouth for, from the year before, losing to Moncton and stuff. So I think uh, that summer was, even though it was short, it was, it was pretty long at, at the same time, pretty painful. So we remember that and uh, came back in training camp really hungry and really wanted to win. And, and obviously with the experience we had the year before, I think uh, the focus right out of the training camp was to win a Memorial Cup. So I think right out of there is kind of started off. And then with all the with the way the season went, as the more we went on, the more you believed, and uh, we were uh, ended up working out. Take us back to the final series against Gatineau. What a grind that was, wasn't it? It was it was really the last team or the last players that survived won that series because it was such a grueling and and hard nosed, hard fought effort. Yeah, that was a tough series. We had uh, a lot of guys that were banged up and that were playing through some uh, some tough injuries. So, uh, and those guys played played a key role. And it was uh, some people didn't expect it to go that long, but but they had a hard working team and and they gave it everything. So it made it an interesting series and uh, went right down to the wire. I mean, double overtime in game six to win it doesn't get uh, any better than that. What stands out to you from that run, from the from the playoffs? Not so much Memorial Cup. We'll talk about that in a second. But from the playoff run, what stands out? Uh, just the way we fought back from some wins, especially in that series against Gatineau. I, I remember, we, I think it might have been game six, but we didn't have a timeout left, and we switched goalies to get a little time to, to draw a play and tied it up. I think uh, Joe maybe or, or Galley with, with 30 seconds left and then played through an overtime and another one and then Bo to, uh, to close it out. But I think uh, we... We had a lot of wins, but we had some, some close ones that, that we pulled out, and, and that really makes the difference in a run like that. And then in the Memorial Cup in Mississauga, an Atlantic Canadian team had never won the Memorial Cup before, and, and a lot of eyes were on Mississauga and Kootenai and Owen Sound, but, uh, but you guys walked in and, and did the job. Yeah, obviously coming in, I think everybody was saying we were, we were a little younger than, than the other teams and stuff, so they might have not seen us as, as favorites coming in, but we had... Uh, the key we had a we had a good start to the tournament, won our first two games and and put us right right in the finals. So that gave us a little bit of rest and and to prepare for for the rest of the week. So I think that really set us up that those first couple games and then uh, ended up closing it out in, in the finals. And you were on the ice, if I remember correctly, as the as the final horn sounded. You were one of three defensemen who were on the ice to close it out. Another Gerard Gallant, uh, a little quirk that he decided to put out 3D to close it. Yeah, him, him and Mike had a little discussion on the bench about uh, putting 3Ds out in the ice. They probably had talked about it before if they were in that situation. So when it came, uh, came time, they were ready. And it was a little unusual, but I guess it, it paid off in the end. So looking back at it entirely, Gags, what has it meant to you to, to wear the Sea Dog logo and to be a part of the Sea Dog family? 
Well, I mean, it, it meant so much. I've I went to Darnest for a couple of years, so I I watched the team. I mean, in, in grade nine, and grade ten, growing up, and uh, and also just when when they made that first run and went to the semifinals before before I came in. So you saw the the fans were into it and everybody. So just just coming in and like I said, I grew up so much here and played four and a half years and a lot of great memories. So it means it means a lot to me. You've been able to hang out a little bit over the last little while uh, with some of the new guys in here, some players that have never uh, played a regular season game or, or, or been a part of the Sea Dogs before. Uh, do you talk to them much? Do you do you tell them, you know what, you're going to have a good time here? What do you what do you say to them? Yeah, obviously you tell them you're going to have a good a good time and and they're they're going to have a good team this year. So it's going to be a lot of fun for them, uh, a little bit like like we had hopefully, and uh, just keep working hard every day and, and things will fall in place. Yeah, when you look at the type of club that the Sea Dogs have put together, does it bring back those memories? Does it evoke the 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 thoughts of the of the the ten eleven team and and eleven twelve too? Yeah, you see a little bit of resemblance in between the teams. So you just hope that they they keep improving and working every day. And if they keep going like this, I think they'll they'll have some success uh, down the road. That's for sure. Okay, bring us up to date. You're in your third season of the Anaheim Ducks organization now, and uh, you're heading down to training camp soon. Bring us up to date on what's happening with you. Yeah, September 9th, I'll be flying down to, to Anaheim to attend uh, rookie camp for a week, and then uh, man camp's going to start around the 17th, so we'll go uh, hopefully make that and, and go from there and hopefully have, uh, have a good season. Gags, congratulations. Good luck. Thanks.